I remember at my dad's funeral, lots of adults told me to be brave. And what I actually think that adults mean, particularly when they tell children to be brave, but in general, is I don't think I could deal with the emotion that I know that you need to express. So I'm gonna tell you to be brave, you'll keep that emotion in, and I won't have to deal with the ways that I would feel if you were to express exactly how you were feeling. When we tell people to be brave, it nearly always comes from a place of fear. We're scared of that emotion, and so let me tell you to be brave. And we're literally, I believe, promoting that as a way of it being a solution. When you look at the kind of mental health space and some of the things that are being promoted as solutions and fixes, so much of it is driven by trying to over-intellectualize the feeling, bypassing it and doing whatever you can to not feel it. When people are struggling with the ways that they feel, we think that it's our duty to make them feel better rather than actually looking at it and understanding that it's our duty to help people become better at feeling. All our emotions serve a purpose and there's so many of us that are up living in this rational part of our brain 24 seven that we don't even know how sad we are. And it's happening all the time and we're promoting that emotional avoidance. We do it in children. And we do it because we can't comprehend our experience when we're in those emotions. We were taught to avoid emotions, that's what we do to young people, right? We try and get them to look at the silver lining, always look at the positives, avoid difficult emotions, avoid difficult emotions, avoid difficult emotions, and then we're, we're passing that on to the next generation and, and we're passing it on as the solution. We, we need to get back to feelings work. We need to get back to understanding that we're supposed to feel a full range of emotions and that's what makes us human. And there isn't always a fix. When we avoid the emotion and jump straight to positivity, we miss the signal of which our body is trying to give us. That includes jealousy, rage, anger, despair, all of those feelings, if we don't allow ourselves to get curious and feel them, we avoid the signal that they're trying to give us and we do not get our needs met. 